In this video, we're going to look at finding the mean and estimated mean from tables. Let's start off with a basic recap of finding the mean. If we had now a test and it was out of 10, I might score 9, 4, 6, 3, 5, and let's say 2. If I wanted to find my mean score, I would add them up. So 9 plus 4 plus 6 plus 3 plus the 5 plus the 2 and divide it by the number of tests that I did. I can see I've done 6 tests and that would give me now 13, 19, 22, we would have 27, 29, I'd have 29 over 6 and that would give us now the mean score for each paper. So let's go ahead and do that. That gives me now 4.83. So let's write in 4.83. So this is now simply finding a mean, and that's correct to two decimal places. This is finding a mean from a set of data items. What we're going to do in this video is look at two different scenarios. We're going to look at finding the actual mean from a table and an estimated mean from grouped data. Let's start off now with the actual mean from a table. What I'm going to do is play a football tournament and that football tournament has four games in it. So the football tournament has four games. I'm going to play this now, this tournament, for 12 weeks. So if we just think about this now, I can win, lose or draw a game. What I'm going to do is build up a table now with the number of games that I win. So what I'm going to have then is the following. So number of games one. So number of games one. And I'll just put it as number one. So I can win zero games. I can win one game, two games, three games or four games. If I play four games, then I can either win none, one, two, three or four. These are discrete values. So I wouldn't have, for example, 0 0.62. What I'm going to look at now is the frequency. So what we have is a column for frequency. So let's go ahead and make up some values. I'm going to play this now for 12 weeks. So let's say that in now for the number of games, so number of games won naught, I'm going to say for three weeks, I won no games. Two weeks, I won one of the games. Out of the 12 weeks, let's say I had now four, that's going to give me six, nine, we will have one and we will have two. So three weeks, I won no games. Two weeks, I won one game. Four weeks, I won two games. One week, I won three games. And two weeks, I won four games. What we need to do is find the mean number of games I won in each of the 12 weeks. And the way that we do this is now multiply the frequency by the number of games. So all I'm going to write informally here is the frequency multiplied by the number of games won. So I'm going to have 3 times by 0, which is going to give me 0. 2 times by 1, which is going to give me 2. I'm going to have 4 multiplied by 2, which is going to give me 8. I'm going to have 1 multiplied by 3, which is going to give me 3. And 2 multiplied by 4, which is going to give me 8. If I sum this and the notation I'm going to use is sigma notation. Don't allow this to um, scare you at all. Just, just write it down. It just means sum. What we've got here is the following. It's the sum of now the frequency multiplied by the number of games. Often you might see this as x. x being the number of games that you've won. So if I do this, the sum is just me adding them up. So I'm just going to add them up. So 0 plus 2 plus 8 is 10. That gives me 21. So in total, I won 21 games. If we look at the sum of the frequency, if I add the frequency up, we know that this is 12. All I need to do now for my actual mean is divide the two. What we're looking at here is for three weeks, I won no games. For two weeks, I won one game. That means in total, we need to add two to the number of games I've won. Often students just look here and, and say, well, I've got one game, two game, three games, four games, and I've got 12. I'm just going to add these and divide them. But we're looking at the total number of games I've won. 
So three times by naught, I've won no games. Two weeks, I've won one game. So in total, I've won two games. Four weeks, I've won two games. So that's another eight to add. So all I'm going to do is simply now take the sum of the frequency multiplied by the number, which we often see as x, and divide it by the sum of the frequency. So we're going to have 21 divided by 12, and this will give us the actual mean number of games one. So let's do that, 21 divided by 12, and we'll round our answer. So at seven over four, we've got now 1.75, so let's put 1.75, and I will say now that that is, well, that's the actual answer. Um, if you want to round it, you can do. I think that's perfectly fine as it is. So on average, I won 1.75 games per week. Now, if these were the facts and figures. So all we're doing essentially here to find the mean, and this now is from the table, we say that it's going to be the sum of the frequency, generally speaking, multiplied by x over the sum of the frequency. I think that's slightly unnecessarily uh, mathematically heavy, but all we're doing, we multiply and then we go ahead and divide. Okay, so what we have here are discrete values. What we're now going to do is look at an estimated mean from a table when we have grouped data. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to breed worms. So let's breed some worms. And we're going to look now at the length. So this is going to be the length. And this will be in, let's go for millimetres. So what we'll do, we'll make some midget worms. And we will start doing this. So what I'm going to do is a table. So I'm going to just put my table on now. Let's do this. And I'm going to put some columns on. And what we're going to do is look at the length, and this is going to be the length. So let's put in the length, and often you'll see this to be x, so length, and this is given in millimetres. So what I'm going to have is grouped data. So I'm going to have now 0, and then I'm going to say L, and we will have now on here, and this will be, let's say, 10. So this is going to be 10 millimetres. If I now look at the next group, I'm going to exclude 10, and I'm going to include now on here. Let's make this, uh, we'll make this 20. We'll make this nice and straightforward to begin with. We'll then have 20. We'll have the length. And let's say we're going to have now, uh, we'll go for 30. And then we'll have 30. We will have the length. We will have, and we'll make this slightly more challenging, 35. And then finally, we will have 35. We will have now L and we will have 40. So what we've got is grouped data. So for example, if I had on here now, one of my midget worms was 0 0.8. So 0 0.8, we could put it in the first one. 0 0.1 could go in the first one. 0 0.3 could go in the first one. 0 0.65 could go in the first one. 0 0.017 could go in the first one. So these could go in here. What we could also have, if we looked at this, we could have now 9.4, we could have 7.8, we could have 9.36, we could have, let's say, just under 10, so 9.987. What we can see here is that I'm putting lots of different worms into this category. What we need to do at some point is find now a reference point where we could give each of these a value. And that's what we're going to look at. So what we're going to have then is the frequency. And let's say I had four of these. Let's say I've got two of those, three of these, five of those, and six of those. Our reference point is going to be the midpoint of each of these class widths or class intervals. So if I look at the midpoint, what we're doing here is finding an estimated mean. So all of these examples, what I'm essentially going to say is that these are all 5 mil long because it's the midpoint of this particular category. I put some very low numbers and I put some very big numbers. So what we're going to say is that they all have an average now of 5 and that's the midpoint. The midpoint of 10 and 20 is going to be 15. The midpoint of 20 and 30 is 25. The midpoint of 30 and 35 is 32.5. The midpoint of 35 and 40 is 37.5. 
all we need now is a column for the frequency multiplied by the midpoint. So what we're going to have here is a frequency multiplied by the midpoint. So I'm going to have now on here, instead of doing what we did before when we have these discrete values and we had at 0, 1, 2, 3, we're now going to look at this continuous state here taking the midpoint. So 4 times by 5, that is going to give me 20. So what this is saying is, on average, if I added up all of the lengths of now, the worms in this first category, they would amass to give me 20 millimetres. That's all it's saying. I've got four of them, and on average they're five, so if I wanted to add their total length to my table, it's going to be 20. Two times by 15, that's going to give me 30. So, on average, if I summed up all of the lengths in here and added them, I'd have 30. 3 times by 25, that is going to give me a total now of 75. If I do this one, we're going to have 5, that's the frequency, multiplied by the midpoint. That's going to give me 162.5. So 162.5. And this one right here, what's that going to give me? That's 45, 220. Five. Let's quickly look at that one. I think that's going to be 225. We'll just check that. So 37.5. Uh, we'll just check that that gives us what we want. Uh, so 6 times by 37.5. And um, that's uh, 225. So what I'm now going to do is the sum down here. So just looking at this. I'm interested in the sum of the frequency times the midpoint. So that one and then the sum of the frequency. What this column is going to tell me when I add all of them up are now the total lengths of the worms that I have, assuming that they take the midpoint of each of these. So this is now the sum of the frequency multiplied by the midpoint. And all I'm going to do is put this in the calculator and add it up. So we're going to have plus now on here the 162.5. So let's put this in. So 225 uh, plus the 162. 2.5 plus now the 75 plus the 30 and then we're going to have plus 20 so let's check that. I've got all of that in and that's going to give me now in total 512.5 so 512.5 if we look at the sum of the frequency so this is the number of worms I've got 6 9 14 20 so all we're going to do now to find an estimated mean, and this is estimated, and I'll write it clearly here. So the last one, so estimated mean, the last one was an actual mean. This is an estimated mean because we don't know what the length of these four uh, worms are. We don't know the length of these two. We're just assuming now or making it that they are the midpoint. So I've got now 512.5 divided by 20. We can do that in the calculator, so dividing that one by 20, and that's going to give us now 25.625, uh, so let's write this down, 25.625. I'm going to round this now to one decimal place and say that this is going to be equal to 25.6 millimetres, and that is correct to one decimal place. So that is an estimated mean average for the length of each worm that I've bred. Is that realistic? Well, certainly for the first thing, it isn't a negative number. Secondly, it's not bigger than 40. If it was bigger than 40, then we would have issues. Look at it just here. That seems fairly logical, but it's going to be somewhere in the middle. Remember, the idea of an average, a mean average, is to find a central value. So 25.6, millimeters correct to one decimal place is an estimated mean uh, for the length of each of these worms.